Hi, it's Jamie and Marina from Gildbrook Farm, where we are on a journey to become more self-sustainable, and we are learning about herbals. The reason that we wanna learn about herbal medicine is because we want to become more self-reliant when it comes to our medical care. And the very first thing that we are learning about is... Seymour. Seymour is an aloe vera plant, which has a lot of very awesome first aid qualities to it. In particular, the inside of the aloe vera plant has a gel, which if you just break it off and open it up, you can see that it's full of this clear gel that can be uh, used topically for any kind of scrapes or burns. It can be used for first, second, or third degree burns. Uh, it can be used for any kind of rashes or bug bites. Uh, it can be even used for poison ivy or eczema. And all you do is you just take the gel and just apply it to wherever the, whatever the affected area is. And the gel actually contains uh, compounds in it that help repair con connective tissue. So that's why it's so good to be used um, topically. Now the gel can also be, also be taken internally for certain benefits as well, such as, uh, in, such as uh, indigestion problems or digestion issues, uh, and it can be uh, used to treat uh, a bunch of other internal things, but it is not recommended that you scrape your own gel and ingest it because there is a second property to the plant, which is the outside skin. And if you ingest any of this outside skin, it can act as a very strong laxative, which can cause severe cramping and um, not something you probably want to do. So if you are interested in taking aloe vera gel internally, you're going to want to uh, buy a commercially prepared gel that you can take internally. But as far as having this plant around the house, uh, just for scrapes and burns and that kind of stuff, uh, this is the way to go. You just take a piece off whenever you need it. And like I said, you just apply the gel to your skin. And Marina's probably going to play with that while I talk to you about some of the other properties of aloe vera gel. So the three reference books that we are using to learn about herbals are Rosemary Gladstar's Medicinal Herbs. And this is a beginner guide to learning about herbals. Uh, the second book that we're using is James Duke's Herbal Handbook. And this would be uh, an intermediate book to learning about herbals. And then the third book uh, that we're using is James Duke's The Green Pharmacy. And this would be, I would say, more of an advanced book on learning herbals. I'm gonna leave all these down in the description below if you guys are interested in getting these yourself and uh, learning about herbals along with us. And we're just gonna go in here real quick and just take a look at what uh, each person says or we, what each book says about aloe vera. So you can see here uh, under Rosemary's, that um, she recommends it for as a healing agent for burns, first, second, and third degree. And uh, for sunburns, uh, it helps prevent scarring, great for insect bites, stings, rashes, eczema, acne, skin ulcers, and inflammation from poison oak and poison ivy. And she does warn you about taking the skin uh, internally and it having uh, about the strong laxative properties of the skin. In the herbal handbook, you can see that there are two pages dedicated to aloe. The first one here is the aloe vera gel, which is on page 28. And then the second page is the aloes, which it would actually be the skin. Now it strongly advises you again here, not to take in the skin because of the strong laxative properties. But as far as the gel, you can see the therapeutic uses, abrasions, arthritis, um, asthma, bed sores, bronchitis, and it does tell you uh, how you can use it, the medicinal properties, and how to use it. And then finally, in the Green Pharmacy, we're just going to go back to the index here so you can see uh, all the different references for aloe. And you can see that it's used to treat burns, constipation, hemorrhoids, hives, HIV infection, rashes from poisonous plants, scabies, skin problems, sunburn, swelling, wounds, and wrinkles. So as you can see, um, aloe vera is an awesome plant to have around. Uh, apparently, Cleopatra even used it as her secret ingredient in her uh, face cream that she used to keep her skin so beautiful. I know we're really happy to have this aloe plant. We're gonna keep one around probably from here on out. And uh, yeah, you guys might wanna consider getting one yourself. If you guys like learning about this kind of stuff and you wanna continue learning about herbals along with us, uh, stay tuned. I know we're going to be doing a sore throat spray coming up probably in the next video because this one here has an inner ear infection and sore throat and uh, yeah, she's gonna be our guinea pig when it comes to uh, making some of our medicines. <laughs> so stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.